Hello agents. Uh, in my, one of my last videos we discussed the PTS and the patch notes and all the changes coming. You, uh, I've shown you the new loot system and targeted loot. You can see on screen now been revamped again. Um, you can see that the zoo is now a stronghold as well. It's not a mission. Uh, but when you press up on the D-pad it looks a lot more prettier. You can see the images in each area and the images on each mission. Uh, they've revamped that a little bit. It looks cool. We're not really going to look at anything like that in this video. Um, I, I haven't got time to play the PTS as much as I want so I wish you just give me everything so I could test it. You know, if I want to test the Eagle Bear, unfortunately, I've got to go and get the Eagle Bear and not being a PC player, I don't even have a real good build. So, uh, so I can't give you like more content on the PTS and with all the changes. But what I do want to discuss is the two complaints I'm hearing. I want to show how my build looks now and how it's going to be affected by all these changes. Um, I'm just going to touch on that really and discuss that. The last video, you really did get involved in the comments. You gave me all your opinions and they helped shape you know my vision they, they got me asking questions so please do continue on this video drop your comments with what you think uh, the the link to the up uh, sorry up to date uh, patch notes is in the description if you want to read the patch notes yourself again I'm not going to go through them this time but go and have a read of them uh, the most important thing that people are taking from it is that the talents now are unique so you're hard hitting you're destructive you're um, uh, devastating uh, they're, they're unique now. You can't stack them on multiple pieces. So how I have at the minute, I think, three or four hard-hitting talents on my build. I'm only going to be able to have one. And on your skill build, where you may have four to six destructive talents, you're only going to be able to have one. So this is the complaint now because people are saying it's ruined skill, skill builds. People are, are saying it's going to ruin your main build with the Eagle Bear the buff on top of that as well. But um, I don't know. I'm going to show you now how these changes affect my build. And uh, you can see how much damage I actually lose. I was I was surprised when I had a look at this. But yeah, I'm going to switch over to PS4 and have a look at that. So this is my unbreakable build on PS4. I use this for the raid. Now when the new update comes in, I'm going to have to do some grinding to change this a little bit with the changes. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy about it. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, the first change that we're going to talk about is the nerf to the Eagle Bearer. I'm losing 15% weapon damage off that. That will drop. However, with the tenacity buff there, uh, headshot kills have got to ground 50% damage rather than the 35. So again, some power there. Uh, the tenacity as well, 20 to 80% changes, 40 to 80%. There's a few changes with it. Uh, but yeah, the main thing everybody's complaining about is the 15% base damage drop. However, it's not too bad with all the other changes. And we'll explain. So, uh, what's also going to happen is hard hitting. I can't stack. I currently have hard hitting on my mask. I have hard hitting on my gloves, and I have hard hitting on my knee pads. So I'm going to have to only have hard hitting in one place, which means I'm going to lose 20%. Hard hitting, so 20% damage to elite. However, hard hitting is going up to 25%, so that 20% that I've lost, I'm gaining 15% there, and I'm only actually losing 5% damage to elite on the build. Now, as you can see on the mask there, I'm running 43% damage to elite. If I could get a mask that just has 48% or more, I've already made back that 5%, and I've not lost any damage to elite, and I've opened up two talents to use on these two other pieces. Uh, one talent I already know that I'm going to use is on the gloves here. Rather than having damage to elite, I'm going to throw Devastating on there, which is 10% weapon damage. So if we just go back to the Eagle Bear and we're discussing how I'm losing the 15% weapon damage here, um, I've already gained 10% of that back with the other changes that they've made. So now I've only lost 5% weapon damage off my Eagle Bearer, and it's hitting a lot harder with the uh, headshot kills. So um, it's already looking better, in my opinion, is what I'm saying. Like, I, I, it's not well, it's not looking as bad as people first thought, especially on my build. Now, this is my experience. It's a build I use. This is my opinion. It might not be the same for your build, but this is build. You know, gives you an opportunity to recreate a build, have a bit of fun doing that. A lot of people moan about there's nothing to do on the game at the minute, so they're giving you reason to play it. Go grind, make another build, and um, my build's actually gonna be much better from the update, which I'm happy about. With the knee pads taking off the hard hitting there, I'm not too sure what else I'd have. Uh, the talents on the knee pads, I don't, I don't think they're much good. Like, I think hard hitting was the only offensive talent I could have. So, I'm not going to gain any damage by swapping this out, but I'll probably throw something on like armor regeneration, uh, the self adjustment, which increases it by 20%, maybe. 
Uh, I don't know. Nothing's gonna, you know, that doesn't really improve my build with the changes. Uh, but what does add a lot more survivability after a new update is the fact that on my backpack, Vital's gonna be going up. I believe it's going up to 25% health or 30% health. And Harden's going up to 20%. So I'm gonna gain an extra 10% armor. I'm gonna gain more health. My build's also gonna become more tankier. So. Um, at the minute, all I'm looking at is 5% damage loss on an Eagle Bearer, which has a better buff when I get headshots. So it's not going to affect my build much at all. Um, I think there's going to be a few more tweaks as well. I've been looking at the PTS and people are getting, it looks like they're getting a lot more damage to Elite on their mask. I've seen someone with like 56%. So hopefully that's having an increase again. I can get my damage to Elites a little bit higher. And I'm not, I, I genuinely think I'm not going to notice it, guys. I've been reading a lot about is how skill builds are ruined. So this is my current skill build on screen now. It's not anywhere near the standard of yours because I don't do skill builds. And yeah, I, I'm working on it slowly with the help of others. Uh, but what's happening is here now what people do is they stack destructive on every single piece um it's not that one but you can see there destructive there i've got destructive there i don't have it on my gloves and i've got destructive there so on this skill build i've got now i've got destructive on four pieces also on the chest i do have basically have destructive i've got explosive damage there of 19.5 so when an update comes out, how it changes this build is I'm not going to be able to stack destructive. So these three pieces here, I'm going to have to remove it where I'm going to be losing 20, 40, 60 percent explosive damage um however it is going up to 40 percent so that's going to be 40 instead of 20 so rather than losing 60 i'm losing 40 percent explosive damage off this build um you know it's a it's a big issue i've seen online people are not happy about that i'm gonna to have to stack into different stuff on these three pieces maybe more skill haste or whatnot um personally i'm all for this change and i know you lots are not gonna like that comment because uh, they think it's destroying the skill build, but from someone that doesn't run skill builds and when I'm running parties of people that use these builds, they are so OP. Like, I I've been running challenging missions and literally we, we walk into an area, well, I walk into an area with three people running a skill build and everything's gone before I can even get one kill. Uh, it's pointless me being in the mission. Uh, th it's so OP. You just drop seekers and everything dies, especially with newer two or three people. And that's unchallenging. Heroic, I think, is pretty much the same as well. Um, that they are really OP, and I know people like that. But at the same time, is that how you want? To, you know, should the game be that easy? I think there's more, a lot more content coming they out. They've got global backup. events coming. They've got uh, so many ideas coming. And do you just want to walk in a room with one seeker and clear every room you do? I, I think the changes. Uh, you know, you're gonna have to have more cooldown on your seekers now they're not going to be hitting as hard you know you might actually have to throw two or three rather than one in a squad and to give people like myself that don't run skill builds a chance to get kills so i i, I see the balancing adjustments there personally and to be fair I, I, i'm all for it I'm, i think what people should do is embrace the change and see what they can come up with uh, they can build some new builds i i love making builds on a division two it's one of the reasons i like the game i love grinding for the gear uh with the new changes we're gonna ha certainly have to grind for more gear and adjust our builds um and yeah that's gonna be fun it's gonna give me reason to play the game again i got targeting loot coming so i can actually grind for these pieces easier now i can do a mission to get a chess piece that I want or backpack that I want and I'm, I'm very excited personally. I'm going to do a write-up about my thoughts of um, all these updates and these patch notes before it comes out. Uh, I hope I'm right. I hope um, these changes are good. Uh, I do see, you know, there is a divide in the community though and I do understand that. I think people just got to give it a chance, wait for the update to come out and just see what you think. There's going to be a lot more reason to play the game, guys. That's what it looks like to me. And like I said, the other complaint with the Eagle Bearer, it really isn't a nerf. My build... It, like, it's losing 5% damage off it. I'm hardly going to notice it. The Eagle Bearer is still very much OP and the best gun in the game. On the build I run anyway. Uh, but that's it for this video. I've gone through a few of the new patch notes. Do check out the video description for to read them in full um they've got this is going to change again next week i think there'll be some more updates they're still tweaking these patch notes to the feedback so keep giving the feedback guys um 
Again, this write-up that I do keep, this is going to be tailored by all the comments I've read off the last video and in the community, so drop your comments of what you think. Uh, hit like if you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more from myself, and don't forget to check out the link at the top of the description for our fantastic Division 2 community. If you do like the Division 2, you're going to love it there. But until the next video, thank you for watching this one, and peace out.